Hi and welcome to our NCXP Knowledge Network sessions. Today we're going to be talking about varying wireless network connection speeds. In this session I'm going to explain and talk about how it is that different clients can connect to an access point at different speeds. So multiple clients can be connected to the same access point while all using different speeds. Quite often students ask me how is it that the speed of the AP controls or determines the speed of the connection of the clients. Or how is it the clients can work at different speeds? Or if one client connects at one speed, does it mean the entire network slows down to that speed? This implies that the student doesn't really understand what is going on in the wireless network. So I come from the UK. Where there's an old joke that usually begins, a Welshman, a Scotsman and an Englishman walk into a bar. Well, we're going to have a little play with that. We're going to talk about a slight variation using some friends of ours from the world of mythology, okay? Anybody who's ever read a Lord of the Rings book, or seen the movies, or played, or played Dungeons and Dragons, or any other mythological game or movie will appreciate and hopefully understand this. We're going to talk about a situation where a little halfling and an elf with nice pointy ears, okay, and a tree man all walk into a coffee shop and order their favorite cup of coffee. There's our barista over there. Who's going to be serving them the coffee. So the halfling walks in and says, Espresso, please. Nice and simple. Espresso, please. The barista over there on the left serves him the coffee. Now, he can only serve, uh, properly serve one person at a time. Okay? Just like the access point. The access point can only be receiving or transmitting to one station at a time. So the barista understood what was said, and the halfling gets his espresso. Now the elf walks up and says, black coffee. Okay, nice and simple. He wants a black coffee. Now the elf tends to be a little bit more polite and a little bit more chatty. So what he may actually say is, hello, good morning. Could I have a black coffee, please? Okay, it takes a little longer to get the message over. The barista, of course, understands what is being said and gives him his black coffee. Now, when the tree man walks up, he tends to go on a little bit and say something along the, the lines of, Hi, good morning. Could I have one of those double chalk, upside down, inside out, back to front, creamy lattes, please? The barista, of course, will make the drink and serve it to him. And the key point to understand here is each of them wanted to get a drink of coffee. However, each of them took a little bit longer to get their message across. And that's a parallel to what's going on in the wireless world. The speed at the, which the client is connected will determine how quickly the message gets across. Okay? The information gets across from all three clients, but at a different rate. Okay? So what the analogy we're talking about here is each of these guys comes in and asks for what they want using the relevant protocols and speeds that they want to use to get service by the barista. It's exactly the same situation in the wireless world. Each client will connect at whichever speed it can, usually always the best, faster speed that it can, and they'll come in and they'll ask for service from the AP. They'll send a packet to or receive a packet from the AP, and in this analogy, the AP is the barista. It can only serve one of them at a time. This is exactly the same principle that we find in our mythical, actually quite mythical as it happens, coffee shop, and our real-world wireless networks. So, hopefully, we all get how it is that each of the different clients can connect at a different speed, but yet get their message across and still get what they want. Information flow, or in our case, a good cup of coffee. Okay, I think that wraps it up for this concept. Uh, if you have any questions or like any information, you can visit us here at our website or call us at the number below. It's a pleasure, everybody, and we'll see you next time.